In this video, I'm going to show you how to upsert data into a SQL Server or Oracle table in less than two minutes. So first of all, you're seeing the traditional mechanism for upserting data. And by upserting data, we essentially mean either conditionally inserting or updating data based on if it's a new record or if it's an update. So the traditional mechanism in SIS is to define the source table and the destination table, and then using either a lookup or a merge join to take the data and do a left join. New rows then with a conditional split go to the left, and updates go to the right. Now on the right, we have an OLADB command transform. And you're going to notice that when I run this, this, this task, that the OLADB command transform is what's making this, this whole process much slower. And that's because the OLADB command transform is doing a row-by-row -row update. And not only is it doing a row-by-row -row update, it also opens and closes a connection for every row going through it. Now, there are quite a few other patterns, but as you can see, this, this main pattern for SIS is quite slow. Let me go ahead and stop this, but just note it takes about two minutes to four minutes to run that process for those 100,000 rows. I'm going to run, I'm going to roll this data back so we can show you the new way with Task Factory. So with Task Factory, there's no reason to have all that logic you just saw. So let's go ahead and start our timer right now. We're at 125 or so. Let's go ahead and drag the upsert transform over, uh, uh, upsert destination over, and let's see if we can do this in less than one minute. So first of all, I dragged it over. I connected it to my source data. I'm going to op open this up. I'm then going to point to the table and the connection that I want to do this to. So as you can see, I'm pointing to my higher ed database, and I'm pointing to the table. Oops, helps if I actually point the right table there. There we go. The table I'm going to point to, the same table I pointed to before. I'm going to do a uh, uh, map all the columns up. Now it's mapping based on, on the uh, column names right now. And then I'll check the primary key. At this point, at two minutes and five seconds, I am now done. All I have to do now left is to find, if, do I want to do inserts and updates? Do I also want to uh, do a bulk updates, or do I want to do timestamp comparisons to find out what's new, what's different? And then lastly, do I want to log how many inserts and updates that there were into a variable? Now this works for Oracle or for SQL Server. This is the SQL Server one I just did, and there's also an Oracle upsert as well. Now what makes this so fast when I run this, watch how fast this is. What makes this so fast is it's doing bulk updates and inserts in 10,000 row increments by default. Look how fast that is. It's amazing, huh? 113,000 inserts and updates in about seven seconds. So from about two to four minutes down to about seven seconds. Now in our case, that's 700 times faster to do this with the upsert destination. But not only that, but it's much faster to design as well. You saw how fast I designed this in less than one minute. So this is a, a quick video to show you how much faster the upsert destination is, destination is from a design perspective as well as from a uh, runtime perspective.